day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. They couldn't deal with dead folk, dead stuff. So they were the problem. He wasn't he dead. He, 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 he was not dead. dead. That's the problem. He wasn't dead. He well, was he, left. He was left for dead. dead. Right? He was yep. left for dead. In other words, they, but you know, think about it. Just like Jesus said about you said on the Sabbath day, you also go do the work, but which one of y'all were not going to uh you know, if your animal went into a hole or a pit somewhere, wouldn't go yeah. out and pull them out, right? Yeah. Who, who wouldn't go in and pull their son out or their daughter out if they were in that? I'm just saying, if that, if that was their daughter, their loved one, somebody they knew that was on that side of the road beating where they were beating and left for dead, who wouldn't, what parent wouldn't go and try to get help that child? Well, you, if you took a look, look remember this? Who, who was it, the prophet who had the two sons that offered the strange fire? This is back in, in Exodus. Yeah. And, and the fire came out and consumed both of them. I think it was it, it, it was Aaron, son. It, it consumed both of them and they were told, the father was told, don't even mourn them. <laughs> you let the people mourn them, but you don't even mourn them. Yeah. God was that, God was in, in the Old Testament, showed himself to be that unflexible. I guess that could be the word in a sense. And then when the guy reached up to stop the ark from falling off the wagon, it killed him. So in, the, in, in what we saw in the Old Testament was the law manifested. Right. To, to go against the law was death. Woo. It wasn't, and, 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 and I'm sure God displayed mercy among his people even then. But the rule of thumb was either comply with the law of Moses or die. Yeah. In the New Testament, we get a flip of the script. And that's the thing that's really, I'm, I'm thanking God for this moment of, of our study. Because for some reason, there seems to be, the emphasis seems to be so much in the right place. I don't know why it seems like this clarity is for love itself is concerned. But this day, love has become the law. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that, that, that's why I'm thinking is that the, if, 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 if God changes not, and Christ came to, to reconnect us to him, those laws, those that, you remember we said a couple of weeks ago that they <laughs> the, uh, the love the Lord thy God and love thy neighbor thyself is basically a CIT of the Ten Commandments. It's, it's I don't, that sound, that means that's the foundational uh, of our, of our belief system. It's uh, right? of our belief system. Our belief system. Our belief system. Whole belief system and kingdom is built on that. Yeah, everything, right? All the laws and everything else is hung on, the, on that concept of love. And, I, you know, it seemed like we lost that. Obviously, we, we, it was not a focus of the gospel. You know it wasn't there during slavery. You know what I mean? You know it's not there uh, even at this time. You know, even when we talk about uh, Trump, he represents people who were upset about bringing in all the diversity of you know of people in this in our society yeah. we have to learn to love people and i don't think people understood that is your principle that's your principle uh, way of being recognized as a christian is that what the scripture said that you'll know them by the love they show for one another yeah that's the word that's the word that is the word that and I, but the, the only, the, the, I think that where we got the breakdown is that the way that love manifested itself. To say that the Old Testament was an example of God's love is kind of debatable. You know, it says wrath maybe, but maybe it's not love. But then the word said that those he loves, he chases. Yeah. yeah. So there's a, there's a correction that will come in the midst of the love that don't look like what we say. This is a loving relationship. No, he says a man is not chasing his son, he hates him. So love takes on different uh, dynamics, yeah. different manifestations. Some things we judge certain, certain behaviors, that's not loving, or that is loving. When sometimes when people are just playing what we would perceive to be love, uh, they're actually cursing you because 
if a person lets you go off into sin unwittingly or being encouraged into that, then they're not really loving you. They're, they're right. actually adding to your demise. They're, they're, right. they're, they're, they're. But love will cause you to constrain or cause you to temper your correction of a person. It'll cause you to add some, some what say, let your words be seasoned with salt. Yeah. yeah. When you love somebody, you find a way to, to save them. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, and I think, I think, and that's what God did. Right. He found a way to make us righteous in his sight. Yeah. When it was us that committed the infraction, it wasn't him. It ain't like how he sinned against himself. No, we sinned against him and he took on, he took on us for correcting the problem. Yeah. He caused someone who knew no sin to become sin that we who were sin might become the righteousness of God. Yes, sir. He flipped the script. He did. In order to impart life to us, he literally flipped the script. So, and that is the example that we have been given. Love at all costs. It's all costs. And, and, that, and that's on a personal level. And Lord knows, man, that's a hard place to go. Because exactly. when, when people are bothering you on a personal level, you know, you can get away from the situation for an hour or two, or maybe <laughs> a day or two, or maybe a month or a year. But if you can deal with it from afar, that's not an issue. But when you got somebody in your face on a day-to-day -day basis to be coming against you purposefully so or just innately so, it becomes an overwhelming task to continue to show affection toward them. Yeah, yeah. It will I, 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 I think that's why he wants us to always seek him first. Yes, And yes. seek him first daily. Because I think that's why we need his love to be able to love other people. We, we 100%. Need to. We need and that's, that, we're asking what I was saying earlier, don't hurt you. You got to have God in you to show God. You can't give what you never had, though. The earth when the fire used to say. <laughs> if you ain't never had the love of God in you, you ain't going to show nobody else the love of God either. You ain't going to show nobody else. Who, who, who's earth, wind, and fire? <laughs> you, know, you know that. No, I'm that. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know that group from my mythological past? <laughs> I never really lived that life, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, matter of fact, I wanted to show it to you. Don't forget, this is what Elder uh, CIT was, too. But I said, if you, he did show Thursday, I like you said, man, show me your, show me your CIT. Right? Uh, but I already put my down. I said, the last one is look at me first, was before I read Bishop, uh, look at the one who you despise, show mercy to strangers. Your eternal life does not belong to hypocrites. And and you know what I was saying on that 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 I was talking about that parable, right? The story Jesus gave, right? It said, look at the one who you despise. That was the Samaritan. That was not true, Ellen. That's who they despised, right? Yep. The, the, the Samaritans, right? Yep. They had nothing to do with them, right? That's right. So he said. So for, when I was looking at this last CIT I had from that brother as it was, look at the one who you despise, show mercy to strangers. Eternal life does not belong to hypocrites. <laughs> 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 and, and, and then Bishop CIT was, in accordance with God's law, eternal life is inherited through absolute obedience Rock by wholehearted love of God and love of neighbor as oneself uh, is what his CIT was. And, and, and I wanted to, uh, when I read his, the only thing I, 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 I was thinking about was when he said the absolute obedience uh, yeah, by wholehearted love of God, but the obedience part, Elder. Because I know you bring it up a lot about chasing in of God. I'm thinking though, it, that reminds me, which that absolute obedience, reminds me of the, the parable of the, of the father and two sons. They call it the prodigal son. I'm looking at that son that didn't leave. You know, the one that that, that uh, says he never got a, you know, a sheep to, to, to entertain his, his, his friend. And, and he said, I did everything you tell me to do. I'm basically obedient to you, Father. And yet you let, look at this, Elder. You let this 
this son of yours, this sinner, there's this person who wasted his life on, on, on you know, junk, right? <laughs> you let him, look, look, bro, how's it? You let that person have a party? You celebrating for that person? who wasted his money on Harlot, who wasted his money, he wasted his sin, he did, you see what I'm saying, Elder? That, this, this, look, this is even another level. Saying, I can't love that boy because he didn't do what I did. He wasn't obedient, like I'm obedient. Is that what sometimes I think that's what the, the, the people see for the church? Sound like Cain to me. Huh? Sound like Cain to me. It, come on. Same <laughs> thing. Yeah. I, I, think, I think that uh, that's a legitimate observation. I, uh, I, I, I believe that. Oh, you know, I, don't, I don't want to get, I don't get too much into the explanation of making excuses for people, but. <laughs> the harshness of the the harshness of the environment would affect the, the attitude of people that brought up in it. Slavery was a harsh environment. Uh, Jim Crow was a harsh environment. Our people had a tendency to be kind of lawish, lawish when it came to yeah. Yeah, lawish when it came to displaying affection one to another. And then some even restrained from showing affection because they felt that it would soften. The, the attitudes of the people are not making them durable against the walls of the or, or, or the society. Some people purposefully raised their children to put the heart in their hearts so that they wouldn't be, and still do. They wouldn't be overwhelmed by the harshness that they would experience in the society at large. Right. I think that's a mistake. I, I think that's, a, that's an error, but because, especially in the household of God, because you don't have to worry about the devil being the devil. He's going to be the devil. Yeah. So what he got to do is, is Teach people love of God, and we can dispel that. It's that we should reach the point to the Lord and resist that we can please. So there are some things that we have inherent to our nature, our new nature, that would dispel the darkness anyway. But a lot of people don't see it that way. And even when we interpret Christianity, uh, chastening, uh, discipline, and all that stuff, we see it from a slave-like mentality almost. It's a yeah. harsh, yeah. it's a harsh beat down kind of a thing, you know, yeah. the you make you do it. Right. Not, not inspiring, but demanding, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And I think that what Jesus did, even though he is demanding, his inspiration was up front. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the cross with you. I'm yeah. gonna give everything that I got on, for your behalf. I'm for gonna show God. you how this thing for me done. Then right. I'm gonna insist that you do that for everybody else. Exactly. <laughs> He's gonna insist it. And, 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 and that's what comes it's a little bit difficult to manage sometimes because it seems though you're just making a suggestion. Love your enemy. No. Well, I ain't doing that today. Well, then, <laughs> that means you can just put yourself in the heart of God. You if you say love your enemies, well, if you're the heart of the God, then there's a change that comes with that. A you lot of times it's not recognized when it occurs. Yeah. It may, it may come to flesh, it might come to finance, it might come to something, but something about your situation is going to be made degraded by your inability and unwillingness to love your enemy. God yes. damn it. Well, Man, you, that's a painful thing. Don't you know that? Well, you, but you know, <laughs> love your enemy. Come on here. <laughs> look, 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 I think that's why you're trying to say. Technically, <laughs> technically, uh, I want to throw something at you and then I'll break right from yours, is our society somewhere lost the message of loving your neighbor as yourself to punishing your neighbor for disobeying. Not being you, thank you. <laughs> and, and, wait, wait, wait. And, yeah, I mean, like, even, um, we, we talked about slavery, but did y'all see the, uh, there's two things going on right now in our society today. Uh, one was- Good I and evil. It, yeah, but you know, I wanna show, <laughs> I, I wanna show, I wanna show the, 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 the issue with it though, is that, uh, uh, did y'all see reason about that? I guess it's the young man that was killed by the uh, Louisiana police. Yeah. Now, 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 and, I, and how would one of the ones was in film said they got mad because the elder he ran. Apparently, he tried to do a speed check, a speed check, and therefore they decided that once they got him, 
And one of them bragged on the video, I beat the living, you know, crap out of the person. Right? And 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 Ellen, what where did that teaching come from that allows you to brag about beating or disciplining? I guess you thought there was a form of discipline. And, and, and to be able to, to, to go, and, and see, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those people went up to church on Sundays and lift up their holy hands to God. And of course well, they did. You can, you, can, yeah. you can have each one of them cops, those police officers, sheriffs, whatever they were, each one that did that man wrong, and they did. Yeah. And you can go to their family and even after watching that video of them in action committing those atrocities they will stand up and say that my husband my father is not a bad man <laughs> he, he he's kind to everyone you see what i'm saying there, there, but, and, but that's just the thing it's not Look, you can, you can, it's no different than the, the law itself. It's no different. The law of God. Yeah. You can keep a whole bunch of the commandments, but if you fail one, you fail them all. You fail them all. You fail them all. So, I, I, I just have issue with that because this, this brother, he was a big man and it seems like they have problem with some with anything that makes them seem less than yeah smaller than yeah. so for them to subdue and beat and kill it is is that bring down a wild it brings beast. them down <clears throat> and, and it, it brings that which is being attacked down and them up yeah it and makes them that spirit goes all the way back to Cain and Abel. Yes. Sir. The, 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 this, the, and, the next, and, and the explanation is why the world system don't work. Yeah. So Because the world like, system is going to rise and fall in front of who is a strong and who is a weak. The kingdom of God is the only system on the planet that uses strength to edify everybody. Everybody else uses this strength to do and to overwhelm everybody else. And it's manifest, not cops. Yeah. They do what they do because they're a part of the world system. That's in them. And that's do. it. That's why the survival like of the fittest, Darwinism, or the weak, the weak gonna survive, the weak will die, the strong will live. And like you said, they show their prowess over this giant by, by subduing it. Now they feel that they're stronger in themselves. But be careful now. There's something gonna happen in society. Once those giants rise up and realize that they are giants, they're gonna turn on these people. And when they turn on them, they're gonna decimate them. And, and that becomes the issue. You can have 20 guns, but you can only shoot one at a time on the norm. Yeah. So what we're setting up, what the society itself is setting up its own demise because they keep perpetrating these, these acts of, of, of unjust violence against people. Eventually, the people are gonna see there is no resolution to this issue other than to retaliate. Exactly. Now we being the sons of God are gonna be looking at like, well, that's not a good thing. <laughs> but we got to know yeah. the majority of the population are not sons of God. Right. And even then, some of the sons of God carry guns. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they yeah. will yeah. kill you. Yeah. Not because they hate you, but because they're going to keep you from killing them or they'll yeah. be in their families and stuff. Yeah. So it's like yeah. they're really setting up a no win scenario. And if somebody's really trying to destroy this nation, you're definitely picking at one of the foundations and pillars of it. Yeah, and it's and it's not somebody. You just, let's let's be real. The devil. This is people giving way yep. to the demonic spirits having yep. influence over their life, it and does. they're 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 taken to it. They're they're just like we in, we 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 just bask in the presence of the Holy Spirit when it's just rich, right. Oh. You just want to just dwell in that and your whole body just weak because of the love that's being shed abroad. 
for them, I think it is the same way because they're accepting and they're basking in these demonic influences. Yeah. Yeah. And so it gives, it, they, they give way to it yeah. and it just takes them to whole new levels of atrocities and, and crimes and, 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 and hate and despisement. Which yeah. you know, I I love how God talks about this in in First Corinthians, you know, in the first chapter, He says, "In the base things of the world, in the in the, the things that are despised, has yeah. God chosen yeah. Yeah. those things." I think that's why we as a people have a special relationship with God, Come on. because He <laughs> chose us, because we are despised, yeah. we are looked upon as the base things. You know that that we're looked on as less than you know and so what they're doing they're they're just drawing god to us yes yes you know they're 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 pushing god's hands to choose us over them yeah that that's that's a fight i mean you know something that be so brother that's true and it's going to manifest too it's it's manifesting it has manifested it yeah. has manifested through through people who are of color throughout the beginning of time because I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but it's every continent, every civilization that is is structured. They look upon people of color as the less than, yeah. Yeah. and 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 they they are treated we criminally because yeah. of the color of their skin yeah. yeah you know you can have I, it, it blew me away <laughs> in 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 puerto rico they they they, they have the 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 light skin against the dark skin in 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 puerto rico oh wow this is an island man <laughs> wow. Wow. and it's there uh -huh. and and you know what's crazy Nobody in Puerto Rico is a native of Puerto Rico <laughs> because they've all the the indigenous people that were there they all died wow. when the Europeans came there from the diseases that they brought to that island. No, there is no native there. Is that something? Wow. That, that that's what that's what's ridiculous. And then these people claim, you know, that this is their island. And this is how we're gonna, you know, subject people to this island. You right. darker ones, they have a whole section of that <laughs> little old bitty island just designated for people of color that are darker. They're just in one little section where the slaves used to be from from way back when right. on that island. It, it, it's it's amazing. Wow. That's just on a small scale. Then you bring it to this this United States, this huge continent, and it's so vast. If you fly and you look down, there is just mass areas that is uninhabited. No, you know, no, there's just no buildings, no nothing. Right. You may see a few roads leading to those areas. And yet these people think that it's not big enough for everybody. That 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 we gonna that the places that are populated, we got to keep them at a small scale so that we can control yes. what's going on in it. Because if we allow it to expand out, then we can't control it all. We can't control it. Yeah. You, you, I know it might take it to another level, but spiritually, it's a reality because Satan and his horde is only like a two thirds of the one third of angels. Yeah. yeah, energetic forces. So we become a lot more manageable if we're kept in smaller numbers. Wow. And so a lot of the global, I think a lot of the push toward global constraints as far as world population is concerned, is solely linked to control. Yeah. And there's men being controlled by the devil to control other men. They want hands on and they want to be able to cause them to worship him. So the theme run, run, runs pretty much through throughout. But the one thing that, that you said that sticks in my mind now I said the seed of the wicked should not inherit mm -hmm. the seed of the wicked should not inherit there's nothing that our, our brothers can do our white brothers can do at this point 
other than repent of their evil deeds to maintain control of this nation. They are losing it by every stroke of, 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 of every atrocity that they commit, bringing them further and further from the favor of God. Look at and, look at their nature. Look, yes. look at how how they are now. They have become so wicked that it doesn't even matter if they're doing their wicked deeds in the open or open. in the dark. They're yes. doing it in the. It's, it's been brought to light, and it still doesn't matter. The, you can have a video of someone in leadership saying one thing, thirty minutes, and then come to them and ask them about it, and they'll say, "I didn't say that," or "You didn't. You you you're not looking at the whole concept." Well, explain the concept. Explain the the nature of your thing. No, no, no. You're not, you know, they won't even answer the question because it goes contrary to what the what they said. Exactly. You can see the control that the enemy has over them yeah. because they can't even respond when they're questioned about it. Woo. Because yeah. they see they, they they look back and they see the wickedness in it. Yeah. And how it's been exposed, and then they're they're just stuck and yeah. they just walk away. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, 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 it has an impact that the, the children want to hear. The one thing I, I've noticed about the, the, the people of color in this nation and every nation on the planet, that there's a, there's a propensity to move toward that once you come into a position of power. And I remember saying that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolute. That's a world adage, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a reality because in the world system, we're already corrupted. So we get influenced, the natural manifestation is for us to corrupt anything that we gain progress over. Yeah. So we look at black people. I mean, and, and I don't know if you're gonna hear this or not, but uh, if you look at any people that rise above and gain progress over another people, their corruption becomes made more manifest. And as we look at the media and we look at our, our rise in the United States of America, our tendency has not been toward godliness. If we look at the media, I mean, the things that we, we, we propagate in the media, the lifestyle that we live, we're always portrayed as the bad boys, but we've also portrayed ourselves as being the bad boys. We're the ones riding down last night when I was about to come home with two cars riding down the street. You should have heard them over there where you live at Addison. They were playing that loud. The music was that loud. And they were riding up and down the street with the lights flashing and the music wide open, cussing and da da da. And you look within the, the cars, you notice there's some dreadlock wearing black brothers looking like clean ones and I can like clean ones or something like that. <laughs> and we have gained that social facade and we have embraced it. And so yeah, a lot that's, of that's people, the thing. You, that's you, the you, thing. You, that's that's just like uh that slogan, thug life. The hate you exactly. give is what we give back. You know, if if you you I, I can say my father used to always look upon me and through my my older siblings eyes you know the the, the drugs that they smoked and the, the, the mischief that they got in and he would speak to me in that way you know you out there smoking that stuff uh -huh. when i'm not you know yeah. just just all out the blue and so after hearing it for so long I'm like, if i'm getting in trouble for this i it's might as well do well, it you know what what is it about this because i cannot I'm trying everything I can to to not get involved in that stuff, and so I'm getting in trouble for it. So why not just do it? Hey, hey. And so that that was that was my upbringing. So, uh, hey. but when when you look at the nature of society, how it always shows the crimes and the 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 uh, uh, the things that are are contrary to our our society yes, they portray people of color instantly bam exactly. a picture of us is out there and yes. then even when we're they're showing the the, the 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 wrongs that are done to us the first thing they do is they go to the history of that person uh -huh. and they start showing Okay, well, this person didn't graduate from high school. Yeah, they they, they got so many tickets. Yeah. You know, they 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 robbed. They sold. They got a record of selling drugs and all this uh -huh. other stuff. Yeah. But 
they won't say whether they were doing that at the time of their their being murdered or or, or you know the laws being broken against them. It's, right. it's always trying to put that person down. Exactly. To